Dear all, welcome to the playlist of sensors and transducers. In this video, I'll be discussing the rotary variable differential transformer in the short form RVDT. It is similar to linear variable differential transformer, which I already explained in the previous session and the link of that particular video on LVDT, which is available in the I button as well as the description box. You can able to observe first before watching this particular video. I request you to go through that previous video regarding linear variable differential transformer so that you can able to understand the concept very easily. Let us understand what do you mean by RVDT or rotary variable differential transducer or transformer. Anything is okay. Moving on to the definition. The transformer which senses the angular displacement of the conductor is known as RVDT or you can call it rotary variable differential transformer. It is mainly used for measurement of angular displacement. And also it is a type of electromechanical transducer because it comprises of the electrical part as well as moving element. That is why it is called a mechanical transducer which gives linear output proportional to the angular displacement. You know that working of RVDT which is 100% similar to LVDT which I mentioned in the beginning. What is the difference between LVDT and RVDT? In case of RVDT, we are going to use the cam shaped core. You can able to see that we are going to use the cam shaped core. But in case of LVDT, we are going to use soft ion. That is a major difference. And uh, the RVDT is mainly used for measurement of angular displacement where LVDT is usually measured for the purpose of linear displacement. That is a, another difference. Let us understand the specification of RVDT. Usually RVDTs are mainly used for the measurement of angular displacement and also I would like to mention the ranges of degree. That means the range. It gives the linear range over the duration of plus and minus 40. If I talk about the sensitivity, it gives a sensitivity of 2 millivolt to 3 millivolt per degree of the rotation. Okay, for one degree, it gives 2 millivolt to 3 millivolt per rot uh, that, that particular range you are going to provide for per degree. So 2 millivolt to 3 millivolt per degree. And also the input voltage ranges in the, in the, in, in the form of 3 volt root mean square value. What about the frequency range? The frequency range, you are able to get the high frequency range in the range of 400 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Okay, that is the frequency range. It, it is mentioned over here. So these are the basic information about RVDT. You can able to see the practical applications of RVDT and uh, AS827001. This is one of the RVDT which is available in the market. You will be getting a lot of availability of RVDT in the online website and uh, in Amazon, uh, then IndiaMart.com. Likewise, there are so many websites that you can able to order. Depends on the application. How does RVDT operate? I would like to explain the working of RVDT in brief. First of all, I would like to discuss about what are the major components involved in RVDT. The RVDT comprises of a primary winding supplied with the AC source. And we must have one cam shaped core. You can able to see the cam shaped core and the shaft is pivoted over there. The shaft may be one of the mechanical element that is directly connected to the cam shaped core. Moving on to the important part, we are having the secondary winding. So the secondary winding is split into S1 and S, S1 and S2, both are connected in series but opposite each other. It creates the phase shift of 180 degree out of phase. Okay, there is a phase shift of 180 degree. Then this will be the output to voltage, the difference between the ES1 and ES2. So that you are able to get the output to voltage. That is the differential output. Okay, you can see the differential output as shown in the diagram. First of all, our ultimate goal is to measure the angular displacement. And uh, angular displacement that will be measured in terms of the output to voltage. Output to voltage is an electrical quantity and angular displacement is a mechanical quantity. Depends on the position of the cam shaped core, you can able to predict the output to voltage. You can able to identify the angular rotation or angular displacement. Suppose the cam shaped core is at the mid of uh, this particular primary and secondary winding. 
or you can call it as uh, the e the particular shape cam shaped core that is at the mid position mid position of s1 and s2 at this particular point if you calculate the difference between the secondary induced voltage that means es1 and es2 the output voltage will be zero if the output voltage is zero what is your conclusion the shaft that is in this particular position null position when the core is at the null position the output voltage of secondary winding s1 and s2 are equal so when it comes to the when the core is at middle position the voltage induced at s1 and s2 are equal and opposite therefore if i compute the differential voltage output will be absolutely zero this position is called as null position and at that at, the, at that particular instant i would like to say that the output to voltage is zero and the angular displacement is obviously zero let us discuss about the second case suppose the cam shaped core is rotating in the clockwise direction when it rotates clockwise direction the differential voltage es1 and es2 that will be positive so you can able to compute the difference between es1 and es2 that will be positive if it is positive then i would like to say that uh, the cam shaped core is rotating in a clockwise direction that is another conclusion okay so i am able to get the output to voltage as positive now let me discuss the third case suppose the cam shaped core is rotating in the anti clockwise direction so when it comes to anti clockwise direction if i compute the difference between the secondary induced voltage es1 and es2 uh, that will be negative i am able to get the negative value of voltage the differential output to voltage decreases when the shaft moves in the anti clockwise direction so that is another peculiarity the magnitude of output to voltage depends on the angular displacement and the direction of shaft therefore e not is equal to negative here e not will be positive in the second case that means differential output to voltage of transformer increases when the shaft is in the clockwise direction okay so these are the three different cases which i can able to explain the working of rvdt in a simplified manner so this is the way how rvdt will be operated you can able to calculate the angular displacement by using the formula theta is equal to g times the differential voltage that means es1 minus es2 divided by es1 plus es2 what do you mean by theta theta is nothing but angular displacement what is g g stand for sensitivity so the secondary voltage is determined by determined by you in in terms of the sensitivity so es2 will be the secondary voltage es1 is the uh, the set in induced voltage at the another winding es1 and es2 i have already mentioned you can see es1 and es2 this is es1 and this will be es2 both the secondary voltage only because secondary volt winding has been split into two segments that is very clearly visible here okay so es2 can be written as the sum of es1 plus or minus g into theta where g is the sensitivity and theta is the angular displacement so if i compute the difference between es1 and es2 i'll be getting the output as delta es es1 minus es2 that is equal to twice g into theta or else you can able to write in another form the sum of voltage is given by c is equal to sigma of es that is equal to 2 uh, es not however you have to highlight these two equations number one how to calculate the angular displacement this is a very important equation you can expect some numerical example the second very second equation is the es2 can be written as in terms of es1 then uh, sensitivity and angular displacement this will be the second equation these are the major equations which you can able to uh, solve some numerical example okay so this is the way how to calculate the angular displacement in theoretically what are the major advantages of rvdt and uh, the consistency of rvdt is very much high the exactness the correctness the that will be uh, very very high then is durable and the performance is repeatable uh, it can be able to perform a number of times of operation the construction is compact and strong it is durable then uh, cost is reasonable easy to handle uh, electronic components and the resolution is infinite and also linearly linearity is excellent okay linear scale a wide range of uh, dimension ranges these are the major advantages of rvdt if i talk about certain setbacks we can able to list out the following setbacks the contact among the measuring exterior as uh, as well as the no seal is not possible at every time that is one of the major setback if i talk about another setback the output of rvdt is linear 
in that particular range only uh, approximately plus 40 and minus 40 so afterwards we cannot able to say it may create uh, certain and uh, you uh, the uh, what i can say it is going to restrict the usage okay that is another problem only you have to take care about that particular range if it goes beyond that range we we we, are, we don't we do not know what is going to happen so what type of measurement you will get it become non linear so that's a problem linear range is restricted there are different applications of rvdt and which is shown below it is mainly used in fuel values sorry fuel valves as well as hydraulic valves okay especially if you are doing any experiment related to hydraulics hydraulics and pneumatics so we can able to use rvdt so that, that is really useful especially in the field of automation then modern machine tools and the concept of cockpit then fuel control then brake and cable system especially in automobiles then engines bleed air system and it, it is used in robotics popularly aircraft and avionics one of the major application then process control industry and uh, weapon and uh, uh, tor torpedo system especially in uh, the the missile launching vehicle especially a different type of organization like drdo uh, then engine fuel control a uh, nose field steering system fly by wire systems push uh, reverser actuators for controlling the flight as well as engine segments then ecological control system these are the various applications which i have taken from my references okay so these are the ma major applications of rvdt so in this session i discussed about what do you mean by rvdt so i already explained lvdt so first of all i request you to watch the lvdt video first afterwards you can come back to rvdt it is mainly used for measurement of angular displacement and but the scale is 100% linear in the range of uh, plus 40 and minus 40 and also it works as similar as that of lvdt but here we are going to use cam shaped core and there are three cases that depends on the position of the uh, cam shaped core one is at the center uh, the another one uh, it is uh, rotating in a clockwise direction then third case it will be rotating in anti clockwise direction by that time you can able to see the sign of output voltage as well so i have listed out the pros and cons of rvdt and finally i have listed a few applications of rvdt finally i would like to thank you for watching this video